The year is 2014. Can you believe it, Dad? 2014? <laughs> 2014, I only got 14 years to go if I live to be 100. Really? You're 86? Yeah. Wow. I'm over 86, I'll be 87 on my birthday. Okay. We picked a tall yard to cut. I'm breaking Papa Freak out of retirement just for this. <laughs> Have you ever cut this yard before? A lot. Hundreds of times. Hundreds of times? Have you ever cut this freaky place before? Yes, about four years I cut that. I cut that one over there for been there 20 years. Wow. Well, you ready to do it one more time? Yep. I'm ready. There you go. To the back. To the back. Freaks, what you're about to see here is a very special moment. Not only do I get to cut grass with my father again, I also get to, for the first time ever, record it. Out of all the yards we have done throughout the 80s and 90s together side by side, not once did we take a picture or a video. It wasn't even an afterthought. It just never happened. To be honest, we never took many pictures to begin with. We just sort of lived our life. So having this, documenting it for myself, my children, and for you, it means a lot to me. Eighty-six years old and can still go out and cut grass. We should all be so lucky in our life. He will be the first one to tell you that he's not as young as he used to be, but he will also be the first one to tell you that he can still do anything he wants to do. He has been a workaholic his whole life. This man has done more manual labor than anybody I have ever met. He's not afraid of hard work, never has been. And at this point, the only problem we have with him is keeping him from overdoing it. Right here, he stops the mower and asks me to lower it down. I guess the job was too easy for him. Back to work we go. You'll notice that I'm going the opposite way that I normally trim, but I didn't want to make my father move out of the way or flip anything on him. I really didn't want to blow his groove because he was in the zone, pretty much double cutting and going all out here. Like I said, he's not afraid of hard work and he's definitely going to do a good job.
It had been such a long time since I worked side by side with my father that I almost had forgotten just how much detail and effort he would put into things. He was still doing it even though the yard really didn't have to be perfect. He kept going over each spot if he saw a little blade of grass sticking up or just didn't like the way it looked. He has always believed that you are supposed to do the best job that you can possibly do every time. Leading by example, my father not only taught me how to do lawn care, but how to look at life as well. I understand that a lot of you have not had the privilege of being around your father, but I would like for you to think for a moment that maybe you are the father, the mother, the brother, the sister, the mentor, or just the friend that is going to lead by example and better someone's life. My father has told me many times that he almost feels as though he's lived many lives. And what he means by this is that although he has been very consistent in his life and not upset the apple cart as he would say, things have changed for him. Looking back, every 10 year span seems as though it was its own lifetime because of the way life just took him in a different direction without any doing of his own. As I get older, I can see this happening in my life as well. Although some things have remained the same, others have changed so drastically that I could have never envisioned my life as it is right now. So if you take anything away from that, let it be that you should try and embrace the moments you are living right now Enjoy the happiness, enjoy the time, because someday you will be looking back on them and you want it to be in fondness. I'm very proud of my father. I know his whole life story from his childhood all the way to the present. A story that sums up how my father has lived his life is when his older brother joined the Navy and went off to fight in World War II. That all my father could think about was joining up himself so that he could help his brother. He was only 16 and he wanted to join the Merchant Marines because at that age he could do it right then. But his father told him, please don't do that. Just wait and join the Navy. And at age 17, he went down on his birthday and joined the Navy so that he could do anything he could to help his brother and to help his country. My father has continued to live like that. He has made sure that he did anything and everything he could to provide for his family all of the necessities that we needed. He wanted us to be happy, he wanted us to be healthy, and he wanted to make sure that he did his part. He worked multiple jobs at a time and never once had an easy job. He always had manual labor, whether it was inside or outside, in a factory before safety precautions, before air conditioning, it didn't matter. He did hard work, brought home his pay, made sure that everything was taken care of, and told us to not worry about anything, that he was always our ace in the hole, and if we needed anything from him, he would take care of it. This is exactly how I want to live my life, 
and how I want to raise my children. I want them to live without the fear of not having their ace in the hole. I want to be exactly for them what my father has been for me. A provider, a nurturer, a teacher. Moving around to the front, my father's still going strong, 86 years young. Starting with the trim, he's going to go ahead and outline it first. He has this down, he's been doing it for years and years. While he's taking care of that, I go ahead and start blowing all the leaves up out of the gutter into the boulevard so we can mulch them up. I'm careful not to kick up a big dust storm here. I don't want to get anything in his eyes or make him sick. We're still working as a great team here. One of us is always doing something. We're not getting in each other's way and everything we're doing will make the yard look better and help each other out. Just like riding a bike, it becomes second nature. Whether you're solo or with a partner, you're repeating the same processes over and over. It's like a pattern or rhythm. You get used to it, you get used to one another, and you just repeat it from yard to yard with little variances here and there. But you will become a pro at this the more you do it. Everybody has their own technique when it comes to mowing. You'll notice that my father is using what I would call the box pattern. You're going around in a square until it gets smaller and smaller and you end up in the middle of the yard and you're done. He'll be the first one to tell you that this is the old school way of mowing. This is how he started mowing back in the day and it is second nature to him so of course he's going to go right back to his normal pattern. Now most of us would be cutting it in the new school way, which it's weird for me to say new school considering I started old school myself but we would be going up one way and then coming back down the next row the opposite direction. That would be more of how you would stripe a yard. But for right now, we're going to let him do his thing and just enjoy because he's doing a fine job and it will work out just right for this yard.
and strong. Perfect. Oh, looks perfect to me. All right, let's put the gate up. Do you want to blow it off? Blow it out to the street? <laughs> no. But do you want to blow it off or do you want me to? You do. Okay. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. It really meant a lot to me to be able to go out there, work side by side with my father like I have so many times in the past, but this time record it and share it with everyone. At this time, I would like to thank everyone who has came on my channel over the last couple years, left comments, personal messages. I want to thank you for all of that. The likes, the shares, the subscriptions. It meant a lot to me. It kept me going this whole time. I never would have opened up and shared so much about my life if it wouldn't have been for the overwhelming support positivity and love and i want to thank you for that i wish you all the very best and i will never forget how kindly some of you have treated me Pretty good, huh? Yeah, pretty easy. <laughs> oh, another fine job from the Freak family. <laughs> Actually, the Chisholm's Lawn Service, that's what it was called back in the day. Yeah, dependable. And now dependable lawn care. Yeah. Geek to Freak lawn care. Yep. Yeah. And um, still going strong. Still going strong. Yep, this is one of the easy ones. Yeah, this is the easy one, isn't it? Mm. It looks like brick on that house, but it isn't. Oh no, it's not. It's fake brick. Old school, old part of town, one of the original yards. My father actually got this yard, and the people um, still own it, but they don't even live around here anymore. And they just have us maintain it every other week for years, well, they have me maintain it. He was doing it, and I was doing it with him when they lived here back in the day. Now, it's just sort of here, and I'm here. It's funny how things go, but it's actually pretty good, too. Things work out. The yard worked out, looks pretty good, Dad. Yeah, looks good. You were going in some circles and box patterns and kind of threw me off track for a second yeah, there. I know. <laughs> you were going backwards and sideways? I, I went all the way across. Yeah. yeah, you went all the way from one side right across the a sidewalk. Yeah. Good yeah. thing it wasn't too wet of grass, huh? Used to do mountains, yeah. <laughs>
All right, next we're gonna have you, um... all right, I'll film you. You go ahead and cut that field for me, all right? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I got that a long time ago. I did it every week. Yeah, back in the day, you had that yard. It used to grow like crazy. Yep. Um, we should make a trimming video. I need you to trim. You can't use my um, straight shaft trimmer. It's too long for you. So we need to get you a curved shaft trimmer. I got one. Yeah, we're going to have to have a, a, a trimming competition. Oh, I can't beat you. <laughs> you went so fast there, I couldn't keep up with you. <laughs> You, you knew your pattern you was going, you know? Yeah. Uh, once you know a yard, it becomes yeah, second. It gets name. easier. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, freaks. See you in the future. When I did that yard there, I, I, I had a tremble on that sidewalk just like this. Yeah. On both sides, all the way down. It was edged all the way across. Because that's why I was spending that time blowing this, because it looked so freaky. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? Well, but it's a lot of extra work. Yeah. A lot of hauling to the dump. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, back in the day, everybody's yard looked like that, didn't they? Back in the early 80s. You couldn't even see the sidewalks. You couldn't. When I started doing this one, you couldn't see the sidewalks. Tom's over there. Any final words to everybody? As long as everybody's happy, I won't get on your property. <laughs> <laughs> he saw that video. I had to show him. War stories. Yeah, Lawn care war stories.